After life struggles with communication from hearing loss, one NAU student carves a path to scholarship and expressing her words through a unique art. Born in a Vietnam village, Tha Mue lived a normal childhood until an ear infection robbed her of her hearing when she was only nine years old. Mue explains the daily frustrations she faced. I just seem like they don't understand me, they don't love me, they mean to me. Despite not knowing the extent of her disability, Mue's father taught her how to communicate by reading a person's body language. And one thing I learned of people, they can tell you lie. They can lie to you by saying the word. Their face, their body never, never lie. Mue also learned about meditation from her father. Although this method was not universal with all people, Mue found peace from within herself. When in communication, you don't need to talk. You look together, you keep silent, and then you think in your mind process, and then you can observe together. What started off with sewing old, worn clothing soon turned into a hobby. The scenes depicted in her artwork would often come to her during meditation. When I see the image, and then I try to decry for my father, he say, saving that. You can train for on this and then you do it and then show me later. And then that the way he told me that the language is not only five the verbal or listen. They can train for, for another si uh, system. Much of Mue's needlepoint work focuses on wild birds and flowers. The birds symbolized the freedom from her disability. And then when they try to fly off and then they move in or they hunting the food, it's so fun. Orchids and lotus flowers appear often in her work. Moe said plants go through a selfless journey to provide nutrients for the future. After flower, that a fruit. And the fruits will be on the uh, inheritance for the next generation. Now at NAU pursuing a biomedical degree, Moe hopes to prove the effectiveness of herbal remedies similar to those she used as a girl. All the people just like, oh, I heard that and then I heard that. Nothing to confirm. And then I just try to use the laboratories the knowledge I learned to confirm it and experiment it, and then say the statement, yes, this worked. After spending 25 years of her life without hearing, Mue's hearing was completely restored after having several surgeries in the U.S. Mue works at the greenhouse at NAU's campus, taking care of plants from across the globe. These plants bring inspiration to both her scientific and artistic endeavors. For NEZ Today, I'm Ryan Maderick.